So let's wrap up this series of multiplying polynomials. And let's just do this last one by vertically stacking if, you're, if you like to do that. So let's rewrite it with the trinomial on top because there's more terms in it. Again, you don't have to. It's just easier to always put the larger term on the top. So I have a 2x squared minus a 3x. And let's just start our process. A negative 3x times a positive 7x gives me a negative 21x squared. Negative 3x times a negative 4x squared gives me a positive 12x to the cubed. Negative 3x times a 5x cubed gives me a negative 15x to the fourth. So notice I distributed this negative 3 across all of those terms. Same process, this is just vertically stacking them. Let's skip this first spot. 2x squared times a 7x gives me a 14x cubed. 2x squared times a negative 4x squared gives me a negative x to the fourth. And then 2x squared times 5x cubed gives me 10x to the fifth. Then from there, we're able to collect our terms by adding vertically, so negative 21x squared plus a 26x cubed. My x to the fourth, I have negative 15 and negative eight of them, so a negative 23x to the fourth. 15 and eight, sometimes I just can't add correctly. And then 10 to the x to the fifth. And there's my solution. 10x to the fifth minus 23x to the fourth plus 26x to the third minus 21x squared. I cannot simplify any further because now I'm being asked to add or subtract. And I can only do that with like terms. These are unlike terms. So that's as far as I could go uh, in this process.